I'm Ty Moser and this is the Mono Local Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how you can use some fire to make a design and get a finish like this in just a matter of minutes. To get the design I used this template that my friend had laying around his garage. It's just kind of the cutout of a fox and some aluminum. It's not exactly flat so what I had to do is I put it down on the piece of wood and then I stapled it down using just a standard stapler. I would prefer to use a thicker template so then I can just lay it flat so I don't have to staple it down. Because sometimes you will get some small holes where the staples, or not some small holes, you'll get some, uh, some other little burn marks where the staple kind of heats up a little bit and burns the wood a little differently. The fire that I use actually just uses one of the propane weed torches like this and they put out a lot of heat fast. I would recommend not doing it in your garage, maybe do it outside in some dirt, but it's dark and this is really the only light I have. You wanna pop off these ridiculously hot staples that you put in if you had to put them in. So this doesn't wipe off, you want to give it a really quick sand, it will lighten it up a little bit right now, but the poly will darken it up again. I'm gonna wipe it down with just a little bit of mineral spirits just to kind of get all the crap out of there. Just a little bit. and then a little bit of wipe on poly just to lock everything in. All right, maybe a little more wipe on poly. That charred surface really soaks this stuff up. And there you go, you've got a burnt in wolf. Now this one was done on birch plywood. Um, I'm sure you can get all sorts of results on all sorts of different kinds of wood. If you take a look at this one, this one was just done on a pine piece of wood and you see the different colors from the knots that were in there. So, kind of, kind of a big difference just between the two pieces of wood. Now it has a polyurethane clear coat on that thing. Nothing's coming off of my hands, and this thing is still ridiculously hot. These things are pretty easy to make, and it really only does take a matter of minutes. I'm sure if you make a couple and show some of your friends, you'll be getting the orders rolling in. Now, I've seen a lot of other finishes using fire. I've seen them on siding and wood flooring, and I think it looks awesome. I've seen where they'll just kind of torch the crap out of stuff, and then come back and scrape it and put a clear coat on it. Um, it's a really, I mean, it's a natural finish and it looks really neat. You could probably make some templates out of some other material. Uh, when I get my CNC, I was going to make a couple out of a quarter inch hardboard, and then I figured there'd probably only be one or two uses each. But if I'm doing like a special design for somebody, that's probably really all I need. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, if this is your first time here, go ahead and subscribe so you can catch some of my future videos. Um, also, if you don't know, my shop on my blog or my website is now open, so now you can go and get some Mono Loco t-shirts, uh, you can get stickers, and you can get some decals as well. So, thanks for watching.